Hi, everyone. Uh, okay, thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, okay, in this video, I'm going to actually go through some, some topics. Uh, some of the emails that I've actually received multiple times um, about how we actually set up our, like how companies set up the price on the purchase order. Okay. I just want to make sure that you really, really, really differentiate between what you do in your in your IDS system when you do some training and what is in the practicality, what is in practice, what companies do. There's no way for any company, whenever they, like there's no way for any company to give the full access for their users to go ahead and put whatever purchase order with whatever price that they want. Okay, and I've seen this, and it happens in many, many SAP interviews. That's why I want to I wanna caution you, okay? Whenever you talk about, it, especially in the interview, whenever you talk about SAP, like, you, you have to be crystal clear. Okay, am, am I talking about practice when I actually, you know, build my models? Okay, build my own practice, you know, try out company codes and, and so on and so forth. Or I'm actually doing this in a real project. Companies, they will never give the authorization for for their for their um for their clerks, whether account payable or account receivable, to go ahead and just change whatever prices that they want. Okay, whatever prices that they want, whatever um, um like whatever taxes that they want, all this, whether you're talking about sales or purchase. All this is controlled with the condition, with the condition records. So condition records usually they have you have a special team, and their job is to do like the the, the control on the pricing. Okay, I'm not talking about like field status group where you make the field is grayed out or or, or not. I'm talking about like the actual pricing. So I'm gonna just show you now into the system. Okay, a, a purchase order, uh, and uh, and you will see that the price it will come by default. Okay, this price, it comes by default. I'm giving myself now the authorization to go change it, but ideally you don't have the ability to go change it unless with approval. So, and then I will show you how you control all this stuff through the condition types. It's very important that you understand the concept of condition types. In this video, I'm not going to go in details what condition, condition types like uh, basics are, but condition types is, is, is uh, it's a, it's a technique in SAP that we use it not only for pricing, use it for pricing, use it for uh, uh, like for tax, use it for output control for the printout. There's many, many, many different ways for taxes as well. There's many, many different ways to actually use condition conditions. And usually conditions, it comes part of a procedure and, and there's something called access sequence. Please watch all the videos that we've actually talked about in the bootcamp to really get all the, the, the nuts and bolts about what the condition types are. So I'm gonna go ahead right now, okay? In a second, just I'm gonna go share my screen and I'm gonna show you how you actually, you know, control those condition types. And you can do it from many different ways. You can do condition types from, this, from the sales and pricing. You can handle condition types from, from, you know, in finance, when you have the taxes, you can control the condition tabs from the invoices whenever you have your billings. You can do it from the purchasing as well. I'm going to show you just from one way, but there's many different like ways to control it. It depends what scenarios that you're in. So let me share my screen right now. And I'm going to go ahead, share my screen. So if you see my screen right now, so this is the SAP right now. So first thing I want to go ahead and create a purchase order. I'm going to go ME21N. And to create a purchase order, if you see here, here's the vendor. Let's say I want to choose this vendor, vendor number three, and I'm going to provide my own pricing information. And I'm going to give my material number, the material that I'm trying to purchase. So if you give your material number and whatever is your quantity, and let's say I want to, I want to say it's 100 pieces, I'm not, I'm not providing the price. I'm going to leave the price blank. And I'm going to say whatever is the plant and whatever is storage location. If I click enter and see what the price is going to be, you see here is $13. But let's say I want to purchase the same exact material. I want to buy the same exact material, but from a different suppliers, like the suppliers number nine, 
but everything else is the same. And look at the price when I click enter. And if I click enter, look at the price change to 15. So it depends on the price. It depends on the supplier or the vendor. The price will be different. But how would the system know this is $13 for this vendor or $15 for the other vendor? Okay, this is controlled with the condition types. So now to go to the condition type in purchasing, okay, there's condition type in purchasing price, there's condition type in sales price, there's condition types in taxes, there's condition types in, in other aspects as well, like outputs. Okay, let's go ahead to ME11. And as you can see here, you're gonna say something called the vendor info record. And in the vendor info record, you put the vendor number, the material, and the purchasing, and the plant if you wanted to. I don't want to go to. I don't want to go ahead and create. I'm just going to go to change since I already have created one for you. So and I'm going to click enter. And here on the top, you see conditions. And on that condition, is going to tell you what is the validity. Every condition has a validity. Yes, most of the conditions are valid for for eternity, like nine 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 nine. But usually, it does have a conditions. It doesn't have a validity. So if you see here, this vendor, vendor number nine, the condition price is $15 for each piece. I could change it now from 15. I could just go ahead and change it to 16. And I could just save it. Okay. And now if I go ahead for vendor number nine, MA21N, if I go ahead and, and just create a vendor purchase order for vendor number nine, and you're gonna see the price will be defaulted to what I mentioned, which is I think 16. I'm gonna come here to the item and I'm gonna come here and I select my own material and say whatever is the quantity you want. I'm not providing the net price. And I'm gonna click enter. And let's look at the net price right now. As you can see here is $16. Okay. So do get confused whether this field is is available for, for change or not available for change. It depends on the company. So we have like some kind of field status or a screen layout where we can control this field, whether it's, it's, it's available for changes or not. Either way. So the point that I'm trying to actually say, there's something condition, something called condition. And this condition is going to determine the value based on specific condition. So if the condition is vendor number nine, the price will be 16. But if the condition was number number three, the price is going to be different. So I, I wanna say the condition, so I'm, I'm talking about the info, info record. So for this one here, it's 13, okay? So I'm not gonna just get into the details about how those conditions are because you just you need to watch like one of our videos where you can talk about the condition types and the condition procedure and the access sequence. Every conditions, every condition techniques is going to be composed of condition types and condition like usually a procedure and and access sequence and tables and catalog. These are very very important information. So, in a summary. Conditions, it determines the values like in the pricing for the for the purchasing for the for the cust for the for the pricing for customer um, uh, taxes, and it's a very widely used technique, as we've seen. Uh, slash in ME eleven, this is the condition for purchasing. In the same way, we have VK eleven. This is we have it for conditions for sales. And there's other T codes, for example, like in the output, we have in ACE, we have the condition records for the outputs as well. Okay. And there's very different, very other conditions as well. So I really recommend you, really recommend you. This is a very important concept that you'll be talking about over and over and over again in interviews. And more importantly, you're going to be using it over and over and over again in SAP. You will never be able to be, you, you cannot be an SAP consultant or a senior SAP consultant without understanding how the conditions works. So I wish you all the best. Look forward to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.